Hey guys, welcome to an episode of Cooking with the Frisbees. Well, my name's Keith. If this is if you're new to the channel here, um, it's actually cooking and growing with the Frisbees. Uh, it started out as just cooking during COVID, and then it just transformed into a lot of garden videos. Um, and we use a lot of things of our garden from our garden um, in the foods and things that we cook. So at any rate, um, it is September. 9th I believe September 8th or 9th Beth is in the house working unfortunately you can see that some things have changed down here on the Lake Corn Farm um, a lot has happened we've come to the end of the summer season so what we've done really is just pull up everything that was growing these were our tomato beds that you see here in front of me those are gone uh, we've just pulled them all out we pulled everything back uh, Beth has started to amend the soil and getting it ready for the fall crops that are going in we've got the seedlings outside that are being hardened off for this weather today happens to be a day that it's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of i think it's 83 degrees and 64 at night so we're heading into that fall weather but here in north central georgia that you could all of a sudden spike back up to 90 tomorrow so um, at any rate what i need to do today what beth has asked me to do today um, is to help her with the amending of these three beds that we have up top here and all I'm going to be doing today is putting the cow manure black cow is the brand that we're using I'm going to be putting the cow manure in these beds and just kind of mixing it in it's supposed to be raining tonight a little bit um, so I want to get it down so that it can wash in pretty good beautiful day out here I'm going to get this done try and go in and watch some football uh, but let me take you on just a little tour and let you see what's happening down okay so as I said sorry I'm dropping my gloves as I said you can see these were our two beds that were up top um, we've pretty much emptied those out things have kind of died off the marigolds always seem to start to thrive this time of year there's a little pepper plant that you've got there um, these are the bags of manure that I've got to put down in these two beds up here we did harvest the potatoes out of these beds. If you recall, these were our tomatoes. So these were big boy uh, yellow tomatoes. This side we had red cherry and yellow cherry tomatoes, which I don't think we're going to grow the yellows again next year. Um, they just didn't have the pop. This is what's left of the squash bed. So Beth is pulled all this out what you see here in this bed is diatomaceous earth uh, to make it a little bit more healthy for the plants that are going to go in it's going to be a lot of green vegetables that are going to go in there uh, this bed if you remember used to be where all the armenian cucumbers were um, we had watermelon which we had one watermelon we didn't really have much success with that and then you see the seedlings that we have down here which i believe these are I can't even read them. There's cauliflower, there's broccoli, there's beets, there's Brussels sprouts, um, a whole bunch of things. Coming on over to this bed where we grew a lot of long beans and things of that nature, you can see this is still kind of going. You see some long beans over here. Let me get over here and show you. Yeah, look at these. We still got some good long beans that are starting to grow here. And Beth basically succession sowed this, which, only, which basically just means that you replant the same things, but you do it a month or two later so that when those crops die off, these new ones start to come out. And I think with this cooler weather, this is really going to do well. You can see a lot of these are dried out, um, but we're going to use, let me grab a really good example of one of these. Um, you can see here how they're dried out and crackly, but we're going to harvest seeds out of here. And that's one thing you guys got to remember that when you grow this stuff, um, you don't have to buy seeds for the things that you like. The things that you don't have, yeah, obviously you got to buy seeds for those uh, when you're trying new things. But if you get a crop that you like, and we happen to absolutely love these long beans, um, we just dry them out, we harvest the seeds, and we replant them. And I think this is year two of seeds that we've harvested the basil plants oh my god basil and beth just harvested a whole bunch of basil um, and made some pesto because we found out that you could actually freeze your pesto we did not know that so we harvested a lot of our plants 
Some of them were a little too late um, and they had already bolted, which bolting means just starting to flower. Let's go to the back beds here. I think you saw the saga in our last video of what happened to the eggplant and Beth just mistakenly picked up some insecticide and sprayed these. So they died, but look at this one though. This one's, it's trying, right? I mean, you, you don't know. I mean, nature has a way of making it and doing what it needs to do. Look at the peppers. <laughs> this happens to us every year. Um, and I need to get back here and just start pulling some of these. I mean, when they start going to that reddish color, that's when the bugs start going at them. So I always say bugs know when things are ripe too. Like you can see down here, Wow, look at this, this is beautiful. That's a beautiful pepper. Yeah, that needs to be picked. There's plenty of jalapenos that are in here. These all need to be picked as well. Yeah, peppers love the heat. We always worry about them and go, oh my God, our peppers aren't growing. And then all of a sudden it gets hot. Everything else starts to die off and the peppers make a comeback. Oh, the never-ending saga of the job I just don't like, which is turning the compost. That is going to have to be done, but I typically try and wait until the cooler weather comes so that I'm not out here sweating and dying. I need to get out here for these. We have potatoes here. We're not gonna do this next year because it really kind of strangled out my vines, but um, you can see some of these potatoes, the ones that are at the top. I need to come out here. Yeah, I need to come out here because these are, when you leave them in the ground too long, that's what happens. That goes in the compost pile. Um, but you can see some of these potatoes. I gotta come out here and harvest the rest of these potatoes. I love the fact that this jasmine is really climbing. Like, I am so happy at first. I didn't think that was gonna happen, but look at that. Again, even this one which was being strangled out a little bit by the potatoes. Um, but I think now the potatoes are done. Next spring, that one will, will be really nice. And when they flower, the smell is just unbelievable. I've got to see, every time I see one of these, I have to put it up and try and train it to do what I want it to do. They're natural climbers, but you still gotta train it to do what you want. My tomato experiment, just about done, I would say. There's some tomatoes there, so you know what's gonna happen there next year. You know there's gonna be <laughs> some volunteers that pop up. Uh, the basil, you see that, look at that's bolted. Not really usable, but you know, all that up there is seeds. Um, not that we need more basil, but you know what? Maybe we can harvest those and share the seeds. You notice that we took the shade cloth down. I think I'm just gonna leave those hoops up because those were a pain in the butt to put up. And then let's go on up top. Let's take a look what's going on up here with the potted stuff. Just coming to the end of the season. Got our little yellow tomatoes. Again, these peppers. These peppers have been so prolific. They've just been doing what they need to do. Oh, look at the flowers. This is something that when I build those other two beds, we're actually talking about just making them more about flowers than anything else because they do attract the pollinators that you need. This tomato plant, again, was one I just kind of threw in there, but look at that. Tomatoes, still. Oh, look at these beautiful, see? I have an appreciation for all these flowers now. Look how gorgeous that flower is. Aren't these just beautiful? Zinnias, I believe, is what these are. Varieties of them. All of our volunteer tomato plants down there. Now, we were successful with the peppers here this year. Look at this pepper plant. A lot of peppers on it now. Unfortunately, I've got to keep a really good eye on them because again, when they start to turn red, the flavor that I like, that's when all the bugs come out. Um, that noise you hear is I'm taking the water out of the pool. We've got to get ready for Serena's engagement party. And then the last little experiment thing that we had going on over here, a little mint 
and tomatoes that I just threw over here. You know, you feel kind of sad that you come to the end of the season, but we had so many tomatoes. Everything was so wonderful that I'm not sad about it at all. So again, folks, I got work I gotta do. I gotta get this stuff down. Beth needs me to get this done, and I'm gonna get it done. End of the season, I gotta get these rocks done. Like I said, we're gonna be hosting Serena's engagement party. We're very happy for her and Tyler, um, but now I've gotta get the yard and the deck and everything looking just beautiful and wonderful. So I'm gonna get busy, and I'm gonna put down this compost. That's what my chore is for the day. Um, with a lot of other things I got to do too and then my own personal goal of just got a larger television for the back deck upstairs and I've got to get that all hooked up too so again guys thanks for joining me short video just wanted to show you what was going on at the end of the spring summer but look for the episodes of as we start to plant for the fall because fall is exciting as well last year we weren't so lucky and a lot of people weren't lucky because what happened last year we got these unbelievable freezes and it just killed everything off so hopefully that's not going to be the case this year and we're going to have a very good growing season appreciate you guys watching hopefully you're learning for some learning things ask questions if you have questions we'll be happy to answer them down in the comment section again if this is your first time and you came across this we're going to be here it's a channel on youtube called cooking and growing with the frisbees it's becoming more about growing than it is about cooking now but gardens take a lot of work but don't be afraid of that because i can tell you that our menu and what we eat really gets determined by what comes out of this garden so in the spring and the summer we're not buying vegetables in the grocery stores we're eating cucumbers squash tomatoes zucchini peppers eggplant uh, long beans we don't have to buy vegetables and as you guys all know things are just so much more expensive than they used to be we have we're lucky to have a lot of space back here but it's not a tremendous amount of space so don't be afraid you guys just pick a spot and start growing stuff so Again, I got to get busy before it rains. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.